I am looking to another edition of my plastic today I'm going to show you how to get perfect results with our air solo plastic branch. Now, if you follow these simple rules you're going to get a good paint finish every time. So first one is you take the can from your workshop or your garage if it feels cold in your hand it's not ready for spraying. You need to get that can up to normal room temperature. Bring it into the house leave it there for maybe an hour and then mix it really well and I mean mix it for a good minute that way you're going to get all the contents uh, mixed together and you're going to get a nice smooth spray finish uh, without any paint spitting or splatter. So if you're in a hurry, get yourself a jug, plastic jug, put in warm hot water, not boiling water, drop the can in, leave it in there for 10 or 15 minutes, take the can out, then mix for one minute. On the other hand, if you take the can in your hand and it feels warm in the hand, uh, then just mix it really well and you're now ready to spray. Now spraying your first coat should be what they call a dusting coat and uh, a dusting coat basically is a very light coat on whatever the project you're spraying and that will dry so fast that it will adhere to the surface that you've sprayed it on and also it will grip the next coat really well and your next coat can be a second dusting coat if you wish or just put down four normal coats of plastic. Um, the rule for any project whether you're doing a stripe in a car, you're doing your alloy wheels, or you're spraying your guitar, whatever, because this stuff goes on just about anything. Um, one or two dusting coats, and then four normal coats. So, let me show you what a dusting coat is. Now, whatever the surface may be, I'm going to work on this speed shape. Make sure it's clean, dry, and free from grease and oil. Uh, you can achieve this by soapy water, uh, rinse and dry. If you're any doubt at all, you can use our uh, IPA 170. This is isopropyl alcohol in a spray version, which is ideal for small projects. Bigger things like cars or motorbikes uh, use a panel wipe. So this is uh, squeaky clean. So let's put on a dusting coat. I'm going to use the can gun one, actually, because um, I prefer that uh, using your whole hand instead of your finger. Uh, feels like you're using a spray gun, you're getting better control, but if you are going to use this, remember that the nozzle, the spray nozzle is pointing outwards. I have put it on before in a hurry and got no results for obvious reasons. So line up the spray nozzle and you're ready to go. As I say, warm can, mix for one minute, you're ready to go. So the dusting coat. That's pretty much it. That's the dusting coat on a speed shape. You can still see the base white colour fairly well. Uh, but what you're doing there is making the plastic dip grip the surface really well and dry fast for your next dusting coat or normal coat. Uh, once you've done this and put on four coats, you're going to end up with something that's looking like this, um, which is pretty smooth, a good texture, well, well uh, built up surface and it's going to be more durable and it's going to last you as long as you pretty want as long as you look after it actually it's going to last you plenty of years but then again plastic is removable that's part of the fun of plastic dip you can spray as i say a stripe down your car or your alloy wheels get fed up with that peel it off for a new color uh, in actual fact if it's still in good condition don't peel it off just spray over it because you're adding more layers more protection uh, it's going to last a lot longer now then, you can use primers with this. If you use a primer with Plasti Dip, it adhere, the Plasti Dip adheres to the primer uh, much stronger than a normal painted kind of shiny surface. It gives it about 400% more grip. So it'll still remove, but it'll be really kind of gripping in there and it'll come off in one piece as long as you remember the golden rule of four coats. To, and that's the minimum, by the way. So Plasti Dip, do a grey and a clear primer, or you can use a standard acrylic primer. Don't use these if you're putting it, if you've got a good paint work, whatever the project may be, don't use a primer because once you put down that primer and you want to try and take the primer off again, it's not coming off. It's, it's going to ruin your original paint work. So uh, it's fine if you don't mind uh, putting down a primer on whatever project you have, but if you're looking to reveal the original paint work again in perfect condition, just plastic dip only, peel it off then and then clean up your uh, original paintwork and it'll look perfect again. Um, so let's recap. First of all, uh, remember to wear a mask. Um, any solvent paints have fumes that are not good for you. Plastic dip is no different, but when dry, it's completely non-toxic. 
Uh, can should be warm in the hand, if not warm it up like so. Uh, then mix for one whole minute. Put down a dusting coat, two if you wish, and then four normal coats. And if you're really good at spraying and you don't mind getting in close to the project, um, put down what we call a very wet coat and that'll give you an extra smooth finish again. But don't attempt this unless you've had lots of practice. Just do your one or two dusting coats, four normal coats, and your project is still going to look good. And actually, in fact, uh, these speed shapes here on the end of the uh, table, they've all been done with uh, uh, Placidip and our spectral pigments. And as you can see, uh, a nice smooth textured finish. I'm PD. Thanks for watching. Please click on our subscribe button and hope to talk to you soon.